Hey YouTubers, this is my uh, iOS 13 wishlist video. So I'll be talking about the stuff that I wish to see in, a in Apple's iOS 13. And uh, and I don't expect Apple to implement all of these things, but I'm going to like to implement that implement some of these things. And I'll be look and I have it all written down, written down the stuff that I want that I would like to un that I would like to unsee in iOS 13. So if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at what I looking at what I have written down. So the first thing I would like to see is low power mode on iPads. What I mean by that, why I would like to see that is because iPads are getting more powerful and more faster, and uh, and and Apple wants us to to di to uh, our, our laptops to be re to be uh, laptop replacements, and if that's what the way they're going, they they should allow us to get lower power mode because there are people out there who use their iPads for you who use their iPads. Uh, use their iPads uh, as your daily drivers, the thing they use every day, and they should be able to get as much battery as power out, out of it instead of having to rush around when their battery gets 20% rush around trying to find a place to charge it or a charger or something. We should, as iPad users, we use iPads, should be able to get, get as much out of our battery as possible before we have to charge it. Number two, split screen mode on larger iPhones. What I like to see is it's a feature that's available on iPads where you can run two apps side by side. And I like to see that on iPhones with larger displays because that'll be something nice because the larger displays should be able to support that since they have the screen real estate to support that. that you know. And then <clears throat> camera settings, camera settings in the in the camera app. What I mean, what 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 I mean. What I mean by that is, is that I like to see the settings, the camera settings that are currently inside the settings menu for the camera app. I like to see those settings right in the camera app. You can, you can set up the photo to be what, so you can set up, for example, the frame rate of a video, or the cam. You can set up the camera settings so the cam, so the so the camera is set up the way you want it, so that we take the photo with the at the right settings instead of uh, having to go into the settings menu and taking and changing the settings from from there for the camera. And then skipping 15 seconds in the default uh, video, in the default Apple Video Player app. Because if, because def, because what skipping 15 seconds is, 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 is being able to double tap on the, on the, uh, double tap on the, uh, double tap on the video, obviously double tap on the left side of the video, video, left side, double tap on the screen on the left side and then make the video go 15 minutes back or double tap it on the, on the, uh, double tap it on the uh, right side and have it go 50 minutes ahead. It's it's the same feature as they have on the YouTube, uh, as the iOS YouTube app, where you can go 50 minutes ahead or back in the video by tapping on the screen on the left side or the right side. Instead of having to use the uh, use a little circle at the bottom of the screen at the top of the screen and use that to to find to 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 go to find the part of the video you want to watch. And then being able to permanently disable Bluetooth and Wi-Fi from the. Uh, why from the Bluetooth uh, from the uh, control center because current right now Apple and I think iOS 11 I believe and that update Apple disabled the use of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi toggle in the control center so if you for example if you have Bluetooth turned on and you turn off the Bluetooth toggle in the control center it will say Bluetooth disabled until tomorrow that means is that it will won't be your disabled Bluetooth disabled it and won't be coming turning back won't be become turn on again until the next day. But before you could be able to disable Bluetooth and Wi-Fi from the control center, and I like to see the, that that back again. So Bluetooth and Wi-Fi toggle in the control center work exactly like it's intended. Instead of having to go to the settings and turn off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, disable it from the from the from the settings, and un unlock phone by using Face ID without having to swipe up from the bottom of the screen. What I like to see is on the phones they use Face ID. I like to see the ability to be able to unlock the phone with your face from the lock screen without having to swipe from the bottom of the screen and have it take you right to your home screen. The same way that when you unlock your iPhone with your fingerprint, finger, finger, it unlocks you and takes you right to the home screen. I like to see that because it's just one more step. It's just one extra step that should be unnecessary, one unnecessary extra step that should not be necessary. It just should be easy and flawlessly to unlock your phone from the lock screen with your face and then it goes right to your home screen. And then removing the white bar at the bottom of the screen. What I would like to see that is that the iPhones that have the white bar at the bottom of the screen, I like to see a feature in accessibility that allows you to be able to remove that white bar if you don't want it there because not everybody wants the white bar there at the bottom of the screen on their phone who has a phone that has the white bar at the bottom of the screen. Nobody wants that on their phone who, who may not need that there to remind them that that's where they swipe, but that's where they need to swipe. 
to exit like an app or something or swipe to unlock the phone from when they unlock the phone on lock screen mode. And then it says being able being able to close all apps at once. I'd like to see this feature on the on phones that, that don't have a home button. Those phones iPhones there that are that are all those phones to have an a but have a way to close all the apps in the in the uh App when you have when you go to the when you when you go look at see all the open apps that are open ability to be able to close all of them off with close all of them off with just one close them all out all together without having to to manually close them out individually ability to do that either using a three D touch toggle or something like that using using three D touch or something to using using like three D touch to allow that to happen or using some method that, or using have that have you you use three D touch to invoke that ability to do that. Let me see and then uh, and, oh picture in picture mode available on iPhones. What it is is it's a feature that's available on i on iPads where if you're watching like a video for example on your uh like the uh if watching a video for example on the native video player on iPads on the TV app and then you click the home screen button or you close out the app. The video plays in the corner of the screen. I like to see that available on iPhones because it'd be great to be able to watch a video on your iPhone as you're doing other things on the phone at the same time in the corner of the screen instead of having to close out the video and then go do what do the other thing you want to do and then and then have the video come back then have the video come back on then have to go back into the video player and watch the rewatch start the video from where you left off. Being able to uh, pause while taking making video in the camera app, I like to be able to see the ability to be able to pause the video, pause uh, while taking a video, pause the, the camera so that it pauses, and then be able to resume the video instead of having to stop the video and then and then start a new video. Being able to use third party apps as your default apps. What I mean, for example, is that for example, if you're using an iPhone or an iPad and you and you, and you get a a an a uh someone sends you a an a a a link for example to a web page a web link through i through uh, i message and you click on that web link it automatically sends you to it automatically opens the web link in through safari instead of a third party web browser that you might be that you might be using in your phone and i like to set i like the I like to see the ability to be able to set a third party party app as your default app for example you're set like google maps as a default gps app and set like like Google Chrome or like Safari, like Firefox as your default uh, web browser app instead of always relying on Safari or Apple Maps. If you do, if you need, to, if you're gonna, if you're if you're going to, if you're going to one of those apps to use, like look at look at like directions, get to use directions or like uh, use the web for something like that. Yeah. Phone calls not taking up the entire screen like like what I what I mean by that is that uh phone calls when you when you get a phone call on an iPhone for example it takes up your entire screen where your entire screen is takes your entire screen and then the only way to get out of have that disappear off your entire screen is either to press the note press the button to end the call so that it goes away and then you have ac goes away or press press the un call button and answer the call and then go back to whatever you would go back then then you then you can. Then you can uh, make that take that screen go away, but still be on the phone call and do what you gotta do on the phone. Because I've had this happen to me where I was doing something on my iPhone, and then someone calls me, and then am I I get then I then I then it stops what I'm doing, and then I have to then it tells me shows me I need to answer the call or end the call, and I'll be able to have it pop up at the top of the screen so that you can just at top of the screen so that it comes on top of the screen like looks like a similarly it's like a notification comes up so that you can. And then you have the ability to end it or end it or or answer it from there instead of having to take up the entire screen. And then have the volume icon level at the top of the screen. What I mean is that I would like Apple to set it up so that when you when you press the volume up and down button on an iPad or an iPhone, I like them to set up so that it's at the top of the screen, similarly to like the way the YouTube app has it when you're watching a video on full screen where you press the volume up and down button where it's at a, like a bar at the top of the screen instead of having it be in the middle of the screen where it's in the very middle of the screen, then it interrupts what you're what and it, and it and then it covers up what you're doing on the phone. So these are some these are the things that I would like to see in iOS 13. I hope Apple implements some of these, but I don't think they're gonna implement all of these. But it's some of them. And then oh yeah, and the last thing I want Apple to see in iOS 13 is be able to send information through AirDrop over a data connection, not having to always rely on a, not always having to use a not not having to force to have to use only Wi-Fi connections to send information through an. Through an AirDrop because currently right now AirDrop is only available over a Wi-Fi connection. I like to be available over over a data connection because 
people may want to send information between each other, between the iPhones, using, using, <coughs> using, using, using AirDrop, but may not be in an area where they can get Wi-Fi, and then they really, and then, then they have, then they'll have to, have to email the information to each other instead, and it just takes more time than just AirDropping the information. So these are the things I like to see Apple implement in iOS 13. I don't, I, I doubt that they're going to implement all of it, but I hopefully they implement is, hope to implement some of these.